Excellent, thank you. At any point, if you find it um, getting smaller, just let me know and I'll increase it. Um, welcome to the session on thinking in functional style. Uh, actually, the title actually is wrong. Uh, I'm going to actually, uh, thinking in functional style and programming in functional style, I'm going to actually talk about, actually I pulled the wrong slides actually here, or set of content. Let me go fix it. So uh, what I'm going to talk about here is a little bit about changing the way we think about things, programming. We've been programming with object-oriented technology for quite a while, and then something else that's kind of evolving as we are looking at things, and, and this can give us a, a certain amount of benefit. So I want to show you a few things. Um, normally when I give this talk, I use multiple different languages, and the reason I normally use multiple different languages is uh, mainly because uh, mainstream languages quite could not do a lot of these things. Uh, but that's changed quite a bit. C-sharp has started doing this quite effectively over the past about a uh, few years, maybe about three, four years, maybe five years, not, not as much, I guess. And then, of course, Java is just about beginning to do this. So as a result, I kind of changed my presentation uh, just this morning so that I can give this entire presentation just in Java, if you don't mind that. Anybody minds that? All right then. So um, we're going to talk about quite a few things. Best time to ask a question or make a comment is when you have it. So if you do have a question, keep it extremely short. I'll cut you off if you take too long. Go ahead, please. Java 8. That's correct. Thanks for clarifying that. Um, this is something you can download and use it today uh, as long as you are willing to know that this is going to change quite drastically in the next several months as they are putting their finishing touches on it. Excellent. So yes. Yes, that's correct. Functional programming, I'm going to use Java as a tool because it's a style of programming. We could talk about purity and all that, but I'll get to the details. Let's get started. First of all, the question is, why should we care about functional programming? Uh, one reason why we should care about it is everybody around us keeps talking about it. So what the heck is it, right? So that's a good thing to know about. Another reason to care about this is it is something that's been around for a very long time. But what's really happened very recently in time is, back in about 2003 time frame, this engineer went to his boss and said, this computer ran really fast before the chip melted. And so they realized they could not put more into this, and, and the packaging could not continue, and they had to go back and produce multi-core processors. So because they had to create multi-core processors, as a result, multi-threading became quite viable. But the problem is this. We've been writing code for a while, but we really have not taken the ability or the time to create concurrent code that is safe. But it turns out functional programming inherently is thread safe because it fundamentally it removes quite a number of